Welcome friends. This is eight module course on energy modeling using Equest software. Before going for the entire course, let us have a look of basic of energy modeling as well as Equest. Energy modeling is a process of making a model in a computer so that it can anticipate the behavior of the building prior making to this. The content of this introduction video is what is energy modeling? What is Equest software? What are different wizards connected with the Equest software? There are different screens, the report generated for the analysis and different energy saving measure categories. This Equest software as well as energy modeling process is helpful to the engineers and to the architects, those who are working in the field of energy modeling as well as building simulation. So friends, what is energy modeling? It is a computer based analytical process which helps building owner or the architects to anticipate that how building is going to perform in a particular working condition. So prior making a building, its performance can be seen, foreseen and then accordingly building can be made. So this is a computer generated program and it considers thermal, visual, ventilation and many other aspects related to building. Thermal aspects over here means the inside as well as outside working condition. Visual aspect means what is a light, inside lighting requirement, what is daylighting and lighting controls. Ventilation refers to HVAC condition and other engineering consume, energy consuming equipments which are there in the building, they are also being considered. We cannot say that energy modeling is a very precise process of anticipating building total energy, whether it is electricity or gas, but we can have approximate uh, approximation up to 15% margin of the energy consumption of the building. And a simulation process will consider many aspects like what is building orientation, how building is located, geometry and its envelope, building is consisted of which material and their different arrangements, different characteristics of facades which are there in the building, weather effect on the building, inside and outside condition, occupants activity as well as their occupying schedule and basics of HVAC and lighting loads applied to the building. So when all these parameters are applied to the building and building analysis is done from energy point of view, it is called energy modeling process. When we talk about performing this process with Equest software, it has following features. Equest is basically a simulation tool which is product of DOE, Department of Energy. Their first product regarding this was DOE software itself, which was complicated and difficult to run. And also it was consuming time to execute. Hence, they have come up with a wonderful software that is DOE uh, version that is Equest. And it is user friendly, has inbuilt graphic interfaces, different wizards so that it can be applicable to simple users or a small buildings to the complicated uh, buildings and different types of industries can be covered. And this Equus software has everything available from basic simulation to life cycle costing analysis and is a very useful freeware tool. What are the benefits of simple energy modeling? A first and foremost benefit is it can gain an intuitive understanding of effect of basic energy saving possibilities at the very design stage of the building. Also, it can study cost related analysis like when there are two options of selecting different HVAC systems. Then at initial stage, it can give the answer that whether option A is a better one or option B is better one looking at their occupancy as well as operating timings. Then it can propose new and innovative energy design ideas to spectacle critics. So uh, we can say that this energy modeling process becomes much easier when we perform using Equest software. 
So here are the model plotted with the help of Revit and it's compared with the Equest software. If we talk about Equest, it has got two basic wizard. One is schematic wizard, another is design development or a DD wizard. Both have their peculiarities, but to start with schematic design, design wizard is a good option. And once developing a confidence, one can switch over to DD wizard. When we perform modeling with the help of schematic wizard or SD wizard, then the procedure is like this. One has to open the Equest software, go for the SD wizard. Then you will find that couple of screens. Up to 46 screens are there in the SD wizard. So in those screens, one has to navigate through all the details. One has to furnish all the details and go towards finishing it. After finishing it, it will be saved and simulation can be done, which will generate the results. These results are in a wonderful graphics. So they are easy to understand as well as easy to compare for a couple of options. If required, they can make changes and if they want, there can be EMs applied. So some of such screens are shown in this introduction video. A very first screen of SD wizard is here. So it is showing that it is one of 50th screen of SD wizard, which covers basic fundamentals about the building, starting from where the building is located or what, what is the type of building, what is the name of the building, which utility dates are applicable, very basic area of the building and number of floors it has got type of cooling equipment heating equipment and all so these are a basic information then when we go towards further screens there will be such details wherein we have to input the building footprints that is how the building shape is whether it is a plain square or a rectangle one or it can be a u-shaped one or if it is a different one other than library, then we have to select this custom one and we can simply trace that from the CAD file available so that we can create that particular shape in the, in the Equest software. Once doing that, we have to go for zoning. So how that zoning can be done, that is explained in the video series. Green, blue and yellow are the colors. They assign different types of zones. Then we can define the orientation of the building related to the actual one, as well as we can name the zones and the, their characteristics. When we go towards building envelope, then there are options available to select the material for roof, for the wall, for the ground floor, for the bottom. And all these materials can be selected based on internal library. If not available, we may customize them. Also, we can define what is infiltration rate, which is related to tightness of the building. Building interior construction, also we may define based on the available options, like ceiling is of which type, vertical walls are of made of what material, what finishes the used in floors, etc. And same way we can go with the exterior doors and window, whether they are plain glass type or opaque type, what is the orientation of them? That is in each wall, each direction, how many windows and doors are placed. We can define up to three types of doors and windows in SD wizard. And we can have different materials to be selected for each of them. Just like the doors window also we can define. We can also specify them with respect to ratio of wall to window ratio. Also, we may specify different percentage for different direction of orientation of the building and we may customize their locations on the building shell. Then whether they have shades or blinds or fiends applied, so they are also selected. When you go towards the actual video of the course, each of these screens are imposed or having images of the actual construction. So when I talk about window shade, what is a shade and what are their specification, they are also shown in this videos. What are important features of a main control of Equest that is shown in this present slide? 
just like other operating software here again there is a toolbar different legends different operating parameters so they are listed over here and if you look towards the screen we can easily understand them this the background black color is called main viewpoint then the this is called legend for main viewpoint the properties of this can be changed from this legend then this is a floating toolbar because we can move it anywhere and it is used to navigate as well as toggle view types then if we talk of this then this is a view tab we can switch from 2d view to 3d view or to spreadsheets and go for summary using this then this another toolbar that is a project navigation toolbar which gives a review of different energy model systems whether we are talking of hvac system or we are talking of any other system that can be selected from this navigation toolbar this is a main toolbar like for other softwares also this is a menu bar which contains different menus of program commands and the the seventh that indicates main toolbar for basic program commands these are the vertical toolbar is for action toolbar we can select different types of wizard simulation ems that can be selected over here and at the bottom there is a toggle option which we can change from actions to uh, component tree and that can decide how they have to be applicable or we are talking of a particular wall or a material then we have to go for a component tree from here so this is about basic working of equest when we uh, simulate equest program there will be a final run generated and that will be having a multiple almost 15 to 20 graphical results are generated and we can read them easily as well as they are quantified in a table form for all types of end use as well as type of equipment you uh, energy use for monthly pattern yearly pattern everything is generated in equest software and the most important part of equest software is eem wizard that is energy efficiency measure after drawing a building model we can apply certain energy efficiency measures so that we can evaluate that how building is going to perform when we apply certain energy conservation methods so they decide which energy efficient method is most appropriate once we are targeting em we have to decide which em we are talking of then we have to go for em wizard and then select the basic run then we have to apply em or we may add a couple of ems together and we can compare them at a time then we have to simulate the building followed by generation of the results if required we may change those ems and redo the entire procedure so the em categories available in the equest software are building envelopes then there is a hvac system considerations then change in internal loads and domestic hot water change is possible in building envelope we can change type of roof insulation applied to the building we may add multiple insulation so that we can check the effectiveness of the one which is more appropriate even with the parametric run we may go with the uh, customization of this like we if we wish to add a particular insulation on a north wall and then different insulation on the south wall that is also possible in equest software but for that one has to go with the parametric run which is discussed in the last video of this video series so we may change roof insulation wall insulation ground floor insulation also we may change how much area is occupied by window compared to wall we can change window glass types window shading their length can be extended provision of skylights that can also be changed just like that when we talk of hvac category we can change thermostat settings we may change the temperature at what uh, air as well as humidity of air our hour of operation of fan as well as the control their efficiencies can be varied same way we may change ventilation and economizers type of uh, them can be added we can also go for that reset and package hvac efficiency that is er ratios we can change 
in the category of internal load we may add the lighting facility so that the burden on artificial lighting reduces for the existing power lighting power density we may reduce or deem it so that the effects can be foreseen as well as for equipment power density we may make necessary changes in case of domestic hot water temperature we can change the insulation properties or we may change the hot water supply temperature so these are all facilities in eem of equest wizard and as mentioned we can have life cycle cost analysis as well as uh, tailor made run can be done using parametric runs effects so this is all about equest and energy modeling uh, once you enroll you will uh, gradually learn this entire equest energy modeling process and it is going to be a definitely helpful and you will have a lot of knowledge added to your understand thanks for watching